Our hydraulic power system is what allows the Numad Benweb to deliver massive torque and hitting power at any speed. Now, when working with serious power, we need to take some serious safety precautions. So before connecting or disconnecting any hoses, make sure that the power unit is off. The control valves are in the neutral position and the flow control valves are turned all the way closed. There are three sets of hydraulic hoses that control the Benweb's three main systems. These include the hose reel, boom, and whip head. When connected, the control circuits created by those hose sets deliver fluid power from the control valve block, allowing full control of the system from one handy manifold. The color-coded hose sets and quick disconnect fittings allow you to quickly make these connections. You can refer to the technical manual for more detailed instructions and diagrams, including how to make the final connection between the control valve block and the hydraulic power unit with the remaining three hose set. Note that while the hose reel control circuit only has one correct orientation, the boom and whip head circuits are reversible. Depending upon your situation and preferences, you can easily switch the orientation of the hoses to reverse the action of the controls. With all of our hydraulic connections complete, let's fire up the power unit and take a closer look at the three individual valve blocks that make up our control manifold. A full understanding of how these controls work is critical to safe and effective Benwhip operation. The rotation of the hose reel, which raises or lowers the whip head inside the bend, is controlled by the valve block labeled hose up-down. This is an attendant directional valve, meaning it will remain in the position it's placed until manually returned to the neutral middle position. This block also includes a flow control knob that lets you adjust the rate at which the reel rotates while in the up position. This gives you fine control over the speed at which the bend whip rises during the cleaning passes. Lowering the whip head always occurs at maximum speed, so you can quickly get to position for the next pass. The valve block labeled boom up down extends and retracts the hydraulic cylinder attached to the bend mount, allowing for precise positioning of the boom arm inside the bend. This is a spring-centered directional valve and has no flow control knob. The rotation speed of the whip head is controlled by the valve block labeled whip head speed, which contains a single flow control knob. When the hydraulic hoses are hooked up in the standard way, turning this valve clockwise all the way in slows and ultimately stops the rotation of the whips, while opening it counterclockwise speeds up the rotation. The recommended cutting speed for most applications is approximately one and a half to two turns counterclockwise from fully closed. Your goal in adjusting this is to remove as much material as you can as quickly as possible without needlessly creating excessive wear on the equipment. Lastly, there's a boom rotation ratchet control for rotating the boom assembly from side to side along a 180 degree arc inside the bend. This motion is controlled by a crank that can be mounted on either side of the bend mount in whichever location is most convenient.